Greetings everyone, this is the new event which is called Hidden Treasures. I do not care about anything inside this event with the exception of one skill. This skill is called Siphon Disruption. The problem with the skill is this is supposed to be the strongest skill for the behemoth and by the way <clears throat> if you are a joiner this skill is completely pointless for you but if you are a main rally leader let me explain to you how dangerous actually the skill uh, almost seven months ago this skill has been actually released by mistake uh, when they first released the behemoth and it costed around two thousand dollars but then the developers has made a hotfix and they have removed it i will try to find the picture for it uh, but what actually this skill does is a little bit crazy it actually decides the behemoth win or lose if you remember i have told you about it uh, in the destructive ray so how, how does this skill actually works uh, every time Every time you you actually have the skill uh, as a certain level, it does something. The first level, it reduces the cooldown of dominating aura. So basically, this means your your uh, every single time you do battle, your dominating aura of the enemy, basically of the enemy behemoth, will have one extra turn increase of cooldown, which means you will be able to deal more damage for a turn before the enemy could catch up to you. That's one. For the second level, it increases the cooldown of Behemoth, mag um, uh, this electromagnetic protection. For the first level, see it says increase the cooldown of enemy Behemoth, destructive prey, dominating aura, blah blah blah, everything. The, even the first level is actually not bad because it reduces the laser beam for the enemy. The problem comes with the final level, which is the most dangerous one. We all know. If you have already paid attention to my videos before that the most broken skill in the whole behemoth is the missile barrage so if this missile barrage lost a turn <laughs> this is huge if you remember i always told you to increase the quick recharge and the core destruction but what does this skill do is as soon as you max it out this is what happens it increases the cooldown of enemy behemoth destructive missiles which means you will be the first one to kill the enemy behemoth let's say both of the behemoth are equal you will cast the missiles first and when there is an equal hp your enemy the enemy will literally die first combine this with the aircraft upgrades and stuff and then you will cry now let's go back to this event the event looks uh, expensive to me and it only rewards you with one and it has two percent chance now let's see the odds the odds for the skill is literally two percent anything else in the whole whole event is completely pointless let's see you have this chief badge fast upgrade everyone who actually have this uh, red chief or even the yellow one doesn't even need this one a any medium spender is uh, supposed to be max red chief now so i don't understand really the logic behind this anyway uh, if you want the skin again skins are not really that useful even the uh, the frame well no frame is not really useful Not none of these rewards i actually find useful so if we try to buy uh the bundle let's see what the bundle has it has uh, multiple of stuff i can't say it is the best bundle but what i care about is honestly this the treasure detector and the problem is it is complete chance but here it says something that uh, after 15 rewards guaranteed all rewards and the price pool so basically uh, after you buy these for 15 times you are guaranteed all the rewards inside let's see for example now i'm going to draw and let's see what i'm getting most likely i'm not getting this one for sure okay i get uh, this 75,000 bio cups that's a lot okay uh let me go ahead and buy these so i can show you the chance the problem with it is every single bundle is literally one one detector which is something i don't like uh, because uh, you need six of these to unlock it so here here is one and fifty dollars for another one and finally I'm not sure if there's a hundred dollars for one 
No, there's none. Oh, oh my god, again. And it's only one, sadly. So if you want, you are forced because you have only three days. If you don't do that, if you don't do that, you are not going to get it. And guess what? This is one. Literally one. I wish you can cancel the animation. I don't want any of those. I'm just trying to show you how bad the rewards or good the reward the rewards is. As you can see I I still did not get what I want. If you were lucky and you did manage to get this one even though it's two percent uh, what would be the total price? So five dollar, ten dollar, twenty dollar, fifty dollar, and a hundred dollar, which means a hundred and eighty-five dollars, just for the first day. And since this ends in three days, you are forced to buy almost uh, five hundred dollars to get one. So if we are trying to count how much this would cost, the first skill only to be unlocked would cost you 2,500 uh, what do you call 2,500 dollars so my advice for you do you want it and if you want it why what is the reason do you have any wars that requires you to use it do you have any raid leak something you know these these stabilizers will show up later on uh, at a cheaper price so I'm again asking you brothers and sisters do you want it do you have a war that is necessary for you to get it and keep in mind something all of these I don't want I don't want any of these I don't want this legendary I don't want plasma I don't want any of these but you are forced to get all of these just to be able to upgrade this one I I don't need anything any rally leader who's supposed to chase this doesn't need 99% of these items so my question to you again do you have any war? Do you have any doomsday? Doomsday is not gonna be anytime soon. It's gonna be like three or four more monsters. So, do you want it? Would it do anything to you? It's just one. It is literally one. And you and as if I assumed you got this one, you still need five more. So if I were you and I'm patient enough, I would definitely wait for a better opportunity or better offer because apparently you as a big spender because this is not supposed to be chased by anyone else you have all of these what, what would i do with a chief badge fast pass what would i do with an extra service badge what would i do with a 20 plasma what would i do with a frame like seriously one hour construction speed ups what would you do with all of these if you if you I want to follow the advice, that's up to you. If you don't, again, that's up to you. That's all, guys, and have a wonderful day.